forgot which button it was on. <laughs> this is Roddy Radio Podcast, and we are back. We're here with Maria once again. How's it going, Maria? Hi. We're at her spot, actually. We're not in our usual black little room. And we've got another return guest. We got Maddie Danger with us again. Woohoo. And her brother, what's your name? Um, Alec Anderson. Alec Danger. <laughs> <laughs> also. You've inherited the name. Sweet. Yeah. I guess you could be siblings without having the same name, huh? <laughs> how is that? How has your life changed since being on the podcast, Maddie? I'm assuming drastically. Oh yeah, it's. I've had people come into my house, like <laughs> <laughs> stalking me at work. I kind of figure that's what happened. That's that's what happened the first few times you were on, right, Maria? Yep. I don't know, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna happen to you too. Oh yeah. great. <laughs> be prepared. Looking forward to that, huh? Stop oh, yeah. me at red lights. <laughs> <laughs> And so, of course, Maddie, our favorite goth, and, and I love look. I love the juxtaposition of you being here at I Was Maria. It's such a fruity place. <laughs> like, look the bright colors on the wall and everything. You should get, you yep. get a picture up by those colorful balloons or something. Yeah, like <laughs> they all fell. Why'd uh, they fall? They're, it's been like three weeks, dude, so. <laughs> Just like Actually, it's been a month. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah, I mean, look at you. Have you ever, uh, doesn't that look cool? The, yeah. like the, like the goth <laughs> against the colorful fruit background. What did you say? Like a, a spider? <laughs> like the black spider? <laughs> the, the gay spider. Yeah, the gay, the spider, gay spider. spider. That's me. That's why I'm here in this fruity establishment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, some color to you the guys have never been here? I haven't. I haven't either. I had You're to track it down. I was like, wait. You were saying you like juice, so. I I'll have to come here. Well, and I go to yeah. Tandoori Oven like all the time because oh, okay. I'm I'm like addicted to their curry. So oh, it's so good. I'm like I'm I come over here regularly yeah. anyway. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're just right here. Yeah. Wednesday through Sunday. <laughs> is that what it is? I didn't know you yeah. were closed Tuesdays. Mondays and Tuesdays, oh, I'm closed. Okay. Yep. I thought it was just Mondays. Wasn't it just Mondays before? Uh, it used to be Sunday and Monday Sunday last and Monday. year. Oh. Yeah, it's been over a year already since I started closing Mondays and Tuesdays. Oh, yeah. oh it's like yeah. nice to have somewhere like actually open on Sundays around here. Though. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> There's nice nothing to, to do. I mean, it is a Hispanic establishment, so Sundays is like where most Hispanics go out and do oh, things. Yeah. So, is it a big day for you, Sunday? Yeah, yeah, and it's I I do short days, so I close at four instead of six, and mm. I'm I make the same amount of money that I do on a regular day at six o'clock just because it's more people hmm. well that makes sense yeah because yeah. like if you go to the mall like yeah. i bet everyone's just like going to the mall and then like yeah. coming here afterwards right or, and yeah. i mean as soon as church gets over like everybody comes down oh yeah um, people from jackson and um Drake's area like they come shopping they come and get a drink and then they go do their thing yeah church is the big thing cool. S- sunday's my my sleep in day yeah. but i found out today's my, my sleep in day because it's <laughs> my i found out my uncle still sells carnitas on sundays oh yeah i thought he didn't anymore mm-hmm. at his little store there in roberts mm-hmm. so i just like have to get up before church is over so i can so, so that some. they don't run out yeah yeah so i'll get up like at 11 and oh. ride my bike to the store grab a couple pounds and go back home <laughs> go back to bed it's <laughs> yeah. a good way to spend the day yeah, yeah. it's not bad those are so that's what Sundays are for. Yeah, literally. Today's <coughs> felt like a Sunday. Like it's today Tuesdays are my Sundays. Like yeah. I didn't get up till twelve thirty. It was great. <laughs> we're um, so we're here with these very comfortable couches and there's actually a reason for that though. Okay. Um but um <laughs> do you guys wait is it will make sense with you too. I bet you anything. Do you like Ouija boards and shit? Um, I've only used one like once. Yeah, did it work? I think so. I don't know. I'm I'm not I'm not super prone to believing in that kind of thing usually. Mm. But I <laughs> the one time I did, it was with like a group of people that like I don't think any of them would have been like fucking around or anything. Like I think that they were all pretty serious and it wasn't very many. It was like I think five people total, maybe four. And like Is it the more the merrier with a Ouija board? Like if it's just two people, is it I like? I think like if you have too many people, it gets like crowded because you know you have to like you all have to touch the the planchette and then you have to all be like around it. So I think if you have too many people, it just it just becomes a lot. Like it's hard to keep that many people focused and like in a small area. Mm-hmm. But so I I would say like probably like three to four people is probably best just from like my one time experience. But. What happened though? Did someone 
talk to you guys. So it, it's kind of silly. Um, I just like going to the cemetery and like walking around. It's a nice place to walk. You know, there's not like screaming kids. <laughs> there's lots of trees, so it's very shaded. It's really pretty. It's like a park without the living people. Yeah, yeah, it's great. <laughs> well, I've had like lots of funny times where I park the hearse in there and then people like... I'll see like funny stories pop up on Facebook from people that saw the hearse while I was out walking and they're like, what's happening? Question. Yeah. What is that? A hearse? Uh-huh. Oh, a carroza for where they take the dead people, the car, it's they like take dead people into car. the funeral car. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's her other car besides that. Oh, you yeah. own one of those. That's yeah. cool. <laughs> <laughs> it was my daily until it started having more problems. Now it's my oh, project, but, dang. uh, so I, I go, I just kind of go there a lot. <laughs> it's like, really this, comfy. It's a I love it. Dedicated. It's great for like moving. You can put uh-huh. so much stuff back there. There's rollers for the caskets. Uh-huh. You can put like move couches and dressers. It's what? awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and the sun, I just for dead people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, and I have a coffin. I put that in there too. So oh. like, it's, it, I, it's a little over the top. Maybe. You said your brother <laughs> sleeps in the coffin, right? Oh when yeah. He he's, 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 that's half the time when he sleeps over. That's when where he's her place you just you get to sleep in the coffin it what's that like surprisingly comfy <laughs> like, i made it comfy there's like two inches of foam it's you get a couple blankets a pillow it's it's pretty comfy <laughs> do you feel like you really rest in peace in there oh 100 <laughs> percent. yeah you know the, like the walls it's like a little sound dampening it's great <laughs> do you like close it too no it's like it's a little shallow. If I made it like five inches taller, that too, it would be a little more cozy. But it's kind of it's a little too crammed otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> um, you're not scared like it will close on you by accident. No, no. By a spirit. <laughs> that was really spirit. Oh my gosh! The craziest thing happened to me last week. It was Tuesday. Last Tuesday, I had an event on my day off. And um, I actually was running late, so I had people come in, and they were helping me. And I was like, is there, um, is there, um, oh, my gosh, I was going to say cucumber. No, cinnamon, cinnamon inside the blender already. And she said yes. And I was like, I don't see it. So the blender was off, and I stuck my hand in it. And it's a Vitamix. So Vitamix are super, super strong. And as soon as I stuck my hand in it, like, it just exploded. Like, it went up. And it's, it turned on on its own. And we're like, what oh, happened? You almost That's chopped scary. Up your hand? I almost chopped off my whole hand. If I wow. wouldn't have moved so quick, like, I got a little scratch from, from yeah, it right there. Yeah, because those blades are sharp as hell, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, it boils things, how, like, strong it is. Yeah. <laughs> God, man. We're like, uh, You need, like, lockout spirits. procedures, like, like unplug it and lock it out when you're ever going <laughs> to stick your hand in it. Like, oh, really? Because no. that's what we do at work with the sauce. Well, it was have on the... have to lock them out yeah. before we fuck around with them. It was on the thing. Like, I'll never stick my hand in it again when it's on... When it's on the, the actual yeah. blender. Get it yeah. or something. I like. know, right? <laughs> like, I literally... I looked up and I was like, spirits. <laughs> that's wild. I was not alone, so, like, everybody (laughs) saw it. Everybody experienced it. They're like, what in the world? At least you know you're not crazy. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, I I can't even imagine if I would have done it, like, by myself. Like, if I was by by myself, I would have probably run out. (laughs) (laughs) Have you ever played with a Ouija board, Maria? No. Oh, I've asked you that before, Mm -hmm. huh? You did, the first time we were here. (laughs) That was the very first time uh, when I met you, and Mm -hmm. Jackie and I wanted to get a, a... Yeah. A Ouija board. And, and I said, the, no. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's very anti-Ouija board. Have you played with a Ouija board? I just don't want to uh, mess with it. Wait, have you? Or am just I the barely. One? That's, uh, that's why we're here. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not at my store. <laughs> no. Would you be mad if we, if we played the Ouija board at your store? Yes. You would? Yes. We talk to the blender spirit. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Spirit. Ask him what the fuck. <laughs> No, What's I your think name? Why are you trying to eat people's hands? Yeah. <laughs> All of that. No, like, answers. I believe in spirits. Um, I think they're they're here with us. Um, I've had nothing, I don't think, other than that, <laughs> that <laughs> little incident. But I've had nothing but, like, good experiences with, I think, the other side. <laughs> But no, I also don't try to <laughs> invoke them. Is that what it's called? That's for probably sure. for the best. Yeah, yeah. I think that's yeah. the better way to go about it. Yeah. Just see, and I don't believe in any of that stuff. No, I do. And uh, Saturday, I told you my friend was here from Utah, and uh, so we were at the mall, mm-hmm. and um, 
and we walked by Barnes and Noble and there's a Ouija board. And I'm like, look at that. I was like, I was like, no one ever wants to play with me, dude. That's why I've never <laughs> played. He's like, well, I'll go fuck. He's like, I'm super atheist. I'm like, hey, me too. I was like, and this, and I knew that because you know we went to high school together. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, let's get it and play. And he's like, no, fuck. He's like, I don't want to spend money on that. But he does have a uh, a spook house, a haunted house that he runs in in mm-hmm. Utah. I can't remember where he lives exactly. But he's like, well, he's like, if we go halves on it, he's like, I and I and you, and I can take it and I can use it as a prop in my spook house. And I was like, hell yeah, well, let's go have some. So we each put in 15 bucks and we bought it. And so we go to the shop, to Elila Model, and we go into our little room back there. And we're just bullshitting around with it. And we have it out. And we were recording a little bit, like seeing if we recorded anything good. And then he wanted to go to the Lego store next door. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yeah, hell yeah, let's go. And so I left. And I like touched my pocket and I felt keys. So I was like, okay, I got my keys. And I locked the room and left. But they were my car keys. So when we get back, I'm like, shit, the fucking door's locked. And the Ouija board's sitting on this little table in there. And so I'm like, so I called the one dude, Haid, and he was like, oh, I'm in Rexburg, man. I was, he's like, I can be there, but it'll be later. I was like, cool, let me know when you're back, and then we'll figure it out. Mm-hmm. And so, and that and my friend's stuff was there, and he was going to go back to Utah. So I was like, we have to get your stuff out. Mm-hmm. So then I called Mia, and she's like, oh, yeah, I'm in town. Like, I'll be right there. And so she opens the door and sees the Ouija board and just freaks out. <laughs> and it wasn't like in, until that <laughs> until that point I remembered, like, when the very first night when I went and met with her about like using the room to, to record mm-hmm. and she was telling me like, and like, you know, kind of like what I couldn't, couldn't do. And I straight up asked her, I was like, can I bring like bitches to fuck here? Or what? <laughs> and she was like, you know what you do? You like, you don't have to tell me like she was cool with that. Uh-huh. And then she said, the only thing I wouldn't want you to ever do in here is no ever bring a fucking Ouija board in here. <gasps> is and that I compl- why we're doing it and here? And I completely <laughs> forgot about out. it. You got kicked out. Yeah. That's <laughs> you broke the one rule. There was one rule. One I could have done any, I could have done heroin in there and she would have been cool with it. But <laughs> <laughs> you could have fucked bitches. <laughs> I, I should have done that instead of the Ouija board. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> and so she's like and so she left and I could tell she was like freaked out. And I, and like I lied to her, I was like, no, we didn't play with it. We were just he just brought, brought it out because he bought it for this. a spook house. Yeah, no, she's gonna you know, lie to her. And uh, and so, but she just left. And then like when we left, mm-hmm. one of her barbers was like, hey, Mia said that um, if I can get your your key, you, you have the key to the shop into the room. And I was like, yeah, yeah. I was like, you don't have a key. And he's like, no. And I left it, and I was like, shit. And I told my friend David, I was like, I think I just got kicked <laughs> out. And he's like, well, shit. He's like, well, just tell her, like, it was just me. And, like, I pulled it out. Like, I bought it. I was like, no. I was like, I don't want to lie her to her. Like, I'm like, I'm like, there was one rule and I broke it. Like, <laughs> that's, like, that's, that's like rule. such a crazy <laughs> rule to break, too. Yeah. Like, I didn't even think of it as a rule. Or if I would have remembered, I would have been like, no, let's not do that here because she's going to be mad. Mm-hmm. I just completely forgot about that that was like the one rule. The one rule. And she was like, <laughs> <laughs> and so then yesterday she was like, well, well, let's just meet up and like uh, talk about it. And and she's like, but don't plan anything. And I already had Tuesday plans, so that's why I was like, well, let me see if maybe if we can use her spot. <laughs> and so in this backpack, I have the Ouija board. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was like, huh? David took it with him. <laughs> but nothing happened when David and I played it. Like we tried and tried, and nothing happened. Hmm. Like it wouldn't move. Yeah, when I was doing it, like we did it at the cemetery because we're stupid. Um, <laughs> And uh, mostly for, like, the first few minutes, it was just, like, a bunch of gibberish. Like, just, like, random, random letters, letters that mean, like, nothing. And we're like, oh, all right. Uh, and then eventually we, like, got a plot number, which was kind of crazy. And then Did one... Did you go to it? We, we didn't because we, we, like, we kept playing. Uh, so we were, like, trying to remember that plot number. But then we were trying to, like ask it like names or other things and get like more information uh because like i don't know we thought like oh plot number that's pretty cool maybe if we can get a name if it all lines up that'll be like whoa yeah but uh then it like it just started like pointing out like one of the friends in the group that was there and then uh once it like said their name and then uh, kept repeating "you die" multiple times. We we're like, "All right, oh, what? we're leaving now." And so we, we just were like, "Goodbye," and left the cemetery. <laughs> That's the Crazy. one time I played it. So yeah, see, that if that would have been our experience, it would have been different. <laughs> and then David said he was like, "I was talking to a friend of mine that like believes in all that shit," and she mm-hmm. said that the spirit made you lock the keys inside the room. <laughs> I was like, "No, I remember." Like, okay, I have my keys, so I like 
purposely locked it. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so we're kicked out. So I might be using your spot a little bit more. Well. Not for the Ouija board, though. <laughs> I, I promise. I learned my lesson. I got cameras. Yeah, that yeah, you rule. Cameras. I got cameras. <laughs> like, Rodrigo using that Ouija board. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I mean, but we're cool, though. She was like... We already got bad spirits in here sometimes. <laughs> that's why we did it, too, because we have that one episode. Did you ever watch that when uh, Jessica, because she's, like, into all that dark shit also, and she had uh, the app for the for the talking box the spirit box on her phone uh-uh. and so we turned it on the whole time we were recording and like we started getting like weird information mm-hmm. stuff like it, we oh. got a name and stuff hmm. it was cool so we're I, like i know i i did see like some cuts and shorts that you posted like it was pretty cool but yeah i don't think i watched the whole episode and so according to all the barbers there like it is like haunted but mm-hmm. like especially in the back room mm-hmm. so we're like let's try it nothing happened it's always yeah. weird to me when buildings like that are haunted because they're like not that. That's old. what I was I'm thinking like, too. Is it like the land mm-hmm. that it's on? Was there something else there before? I think like, it has to do also with the people. Like I've been told that here, um, there's something with this building, something mm-hmm. about it, and it's not necessarily like to me. It was maybe some somebody like before me that somebody cast something on here. Mm. Mm. Yeah, like pretty much like jealousy you know so they don't do well stuff like the, that someone oh. hated the cuban table and i don't think it was a cuban <laughs> table either it might have been like way before because they didn't even last here no and like none of the businesses i mean well pelona was here she was here for yeah. nine months and she's she, thriving she, so it wasn't her outgrew, yeah yeah so yeah I, maybe it was before that so how old are these buildings like 2000 Mm, i'm not sure honestly like 20 they, these are even newer because the barbershop i think i think i saw a thing i think it said 04 or 05 which yeah. kind of makes sense yeah these have to be like newer than that huh i think so but i thought about, i thought the exact same thing i was like what could there possibly ha- be haunting here maybe it's like a 20 year old ghost must be a really young ghost yeah like he's still new <laughs> at what he's doing you know like i i've experienced like actual things happening like in blackfoot Mm -hmm. there's um the plaza where i worked it's funny because so it's like literally three you know like the street this way and then this way and then this way i worked at wendy's and then i worked like kind of across the street at a lending place and then from there i went to the other kitty corner to the bank and there's the same ghost that just (laughs) (laughs) sound effects how do you know it's the same ghost um so there was one night i was at wendy's um i was cleaning up i was a manager so i closed uh everybody left and i was still doing paperwork and things like that and i had just started working like after six years i think of being stay-at-home mom five or six years and my daughter started crying all the time she would just cry and cry just because she wanted me she was like two years old and it was you know like the ice machine the water things running and all of a sudden kept hearing a little girl cry and just cry and cry and cry and i was like gosh dang like i'm so like (laughs) um i miss my kids you know i miss my daughter like she's probably just at home crying like begging for her mom at one in the morning and I'm just like, I'm such a bad mom for coming back to work. And then um, I leave. I didn't think nothing of it. I leave. The next morning, I opened at 7 in the morning. And I come in. And, uh, of course, I'm the first one in. So then, like, one of my employees comes in. And she's like, you're not scared of being here by yourself? And I'm like, why? (laughs) Like, it's it's fine. And she's like, well, that little girl that's here all the time. (laughs) What? What? what are you talking about it's like yeah everybody's experienced it i was like you're freaking lying to me right now and like imagine if i would have like known about that before i heard that little girl yeah you'd so, have probably just jet oh huh? god oh maybe so, they were like putting like tape recorders in the cabinet somewhere or something like. i know like i could hear it like on the other side by the bathrooms that's crazy and i was just like a little girl just crying and crying and crying and I just was like, it, it's just, you know, like, so as a mom, I don't know if you have kids, but as a mom, like when I'm in the shower, when they were little, I'd be in the shower and all I heard was the babies crying. And so, and, every, and I'd open the shower, nobody's crying. It's just, it's like mom instinct. And so I thought that's what it was. And, and then when they told me that, I was like, nope, every time I close, like, I'm leaving with you guys. I am not <laughs> staying here. But then I moved to, like, that finance company, um, like, almost across the street. 
and um, right away when I started I was told like hey if you open that door in the back close it leave it closed the little girl stays there and I was like what little girl what are you talking about they're like yeah she lives in this like whole plaza like what and the, that's her favorite room so we had like the Christmas stuff and we'd put things away and like they'd end up on the floor and like in certain um like put out put in certain places like they got moved just like arranged and yeah stuff. like rearranged it was crazy <laughs> there was one night and i still don't know if somebody was playing a trick on us but we would do like it was um the finance company did um collections so lots of people wouldn't pay their bills so there was like once a month we'd be ordered to do late night so we would be there be there till like eight o'clock at night and i mean in winter you know five o'clock it's already dark so it felt like it was really, really late that night. And we had six lines. The first four were we were allowed to use. This other two, we'd only use like, if it was somebody really important we needed to get a hold of because they didn't know that number. Well, we were making calls and it was almost closing time. And we get a call from one of the last numbers, the last lines, and I answered it. And it's like, hey, are you still at work? And it was a girl. Uh-huh. And I was like, yeah. Um, what time are you going to be there until? And I was like, until 8. And I can't remember the conversation, but I was like, she knew who I was. But never told me a name or who she, like, who she was or asked who I was either. But she knew who I was. And then all of a sudden she's like, okay, bye. And I hung oh, up and yeah, I was like, so weird. And I like, looked at the other two girls. I was like, did you see that? Like, what <laughs> happened? And I never saw anything at um, Idaho Central Credit Union, but um, it used to be in an old building. When I got hired, they were just tearing that building down. I worked there for one week and then got moved to the new building. But I was told stuff would happen at the old building too. Hmm. So I don't know. I never saw anything there. I was never there really late or really early either. So I don't know. But yeah, there's a little girl there in that plaza <laughs> that everybody knows. But nobody knows like what happened, like if there's a little girl that was moving um, there or something. So actually, my kids told me they go to a school maybe three streets down from there. Um, and they said that one of the teachers says there's a little girl that plays there, that she got hung. Oh. So I huh. don't know. I don't know if it's the same one, but like they Do talk they about know, like, who, like why she got hung or who hung her or yeah because i don't think like hangings are even like it, yeah i don't think they were like a common thing over yeah, here or I, anything. yeah i have no idea my 10 year old's the one that told me that i don't know that's interesting though <laughs> yeah that's crazy. yeah that's freaky <laughs> alec do you have any ghost stories or spooky things you've encountered not that i've encountered though. nothing Gotta get out and live Dude more. Dude sleeps in a fucking coffin. Like, <laughs> Maybe he is the ghost story. Nobody's gonna stories. bother. <laughs> yeah, nobody's gonna bother. Just live it, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> you are my brother. True. Did you guys go to the paranorm- paranormal circus? I haven't. I've actually. I've never been to like a circus uh-huh. or like fair or what? anything. It's crazy. Like. So I went last night. It was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. I thought it was gonna be scary. It was just. It kind of looked gory, but it really wasn't. Okay. It was a circus. It was it's definitely just a, little a circus. Dark. They just make it a little dark. Yeah, I feel like, like dark it's just humor. like a, like edgy, like spooky circus. circus. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Is it, I think it's the same company that brought the water circus. Yeah, that yeah, one. yeah. And we went to that with, uh, like, we took yeah, my daughter and everything. Kids, I like yeah. that. Yeah. That was cool. Yeah, this was definitely not kid appropriate. There's a lot of, like, sex, uh, what, yeah, like jokes and things like that. <laughs> <laughs> and they even said on there, if you're not 13 or older, you can't go in. Oh. So. Yeah. I thought I you could if you like had a parent or something or Friday or Saturday. Yeah, thirteen buddy. or oh, sorry, went? thirteen or younger. You oh, can't okay. go in. Um, yeah, yeah. Just a dark and gory circus. That's you went to it? Yeah. yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's the yeah. second year they brought it, I think. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, because I went to the water one with yeah. my kids and it was great. Do you like the regular circus, like when they do the Sandy Downs one? Like with the clowns? Yeah, and stuff? yeah, it's been a long time since I have been, but yeah. It's always like the same yeah. Tired ass acts, but mm-hmm. it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Like the Spider Man when he comes in and stuff, that's always cool. Yeah. Then you, take, then you pay them 30 bucks to take a picture with Spider Man and shit. That's great. Yeah. These ones are I feel like, like you're missing were, out. Yeah, they, they were taking you pictures. Go. That's, that's great. You would have, yeah, like you would have totally loved it. Yeah, um, especially that one. I feel mm-hmm. like that's right up your alley, the paranormal yeah. one. Yeah, that one, it's over now, isn't I it? Yeah, so. yesterday was the last thing. Okay. It was yeah, only one that's what I thought. Yeah. 
man. I'll yeah. have to I'll have to keep an eye out because I was they're getting like Boise, nonstop ads for it too. Yeah, so. they're in Boise starting today, so mm. for a few days. But yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah. Where were you? Were you sit, sitting right up front or no? No, we were towards the back. So when we thought about going yesterday morning, like I went and got tickets and there was hardly anything uh, left. So yeah. yeah, we were up on top almost. Yeah, that's yeah. With those things. it wasn't bad. But yeah, the when you go pay to take a picture, the guy like was so funny. He just would make the greatest like jokes. He had like a head and he'd like act like it was giving him head. <laughs> 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 And yeah, just make a kind of dirty, yeah, dirty jokes and things like that. I mean, he wasn't talking. He just, like, his motions oh, and everything. Okay. Oh, it was like a mime, like a dirty <laughs> mime. A dirty mime. So, <laughs> what's that? What's yes. that? Um, <laughs> what's You're that mask? The dirty One of the Halloween. Is it Halloween? The movie series. Like, yeah. Uh, the one with the mask, like, he doesn't. He has no expression. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, M- Michael Myers. Michael Myers. Myers. I think that's the mask he was wearing. Okay. <laughs> and he's short. He's, like, super short. He's probably maybe five feet, if not. Okay, that. okay. And, like, stocky and super <laughs> funny. <laughs> Man, I stay... Fuck, I was just... I don't know. I slipped what I was going to say. <laughs> you slipped what you were going to say. <laughs> no, I don't know. I like the circus, though. Like, yeah. uh, when, the, when they had the... Uh, the transformer in the regular circus, oh, that yeah, Camaro yeah. that drives in and then yeah. it turns into a robot and oh, you take a picture kids. of them. See, you need to go. I, have, I am. I'm I missing out. Of that. Yeah, I have pictures kids. of that too. And then you can take a pictures with they take pictures with like the poodles that do all the tricks and shit. Mm-hmm. You take pictures with everybody. <laughs> and that's where they make their money because kids yeah. are usually free to those other circuses. Yeah. Um, I went when in Pocatello when my kids were little, really little. I remember my daughter's now deathly afraid of clowns because that clown oh. came out with a squirting oh. gun, and it was it was when the uh, when those clowns like it was what oh back when in the 20, clowns would just like, kind of appear oh, places the, the year where yes. everyone was afraid of clowns yes. and they were getting shot yeah and I was like dude why would you do that like we literally have a whole thing going on in the world right now. <laughs> You know, why would you come out in on state or on the audience and try like shooting people with water or with like, a water isn't gun? Clowns like one of the, like the highest phobias yeah. or something, so, like yeah. next to like spiders and stuff. Yeah, so like. n- my daughter is deathly afraid of, <laughs> oh, no. of clowns now because of that. And that yeah. was right before the movie came out. The it. I think. Yeah, oh, yeah. I think so I think it was like a few years before. She was like two, so this would have been like 2014. Do you watch that movie? That's a good movie. I don't think I, d- I have. Did you guys watch that? Mm-hmm. I did. I. I, I enjoyed the first one, and then the second one, I feel bad because I think I made everyone in the theater mad. Because I, I went with a friend who really likes it, and... Likes what? It. <laughs> 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 uh, and we were just, like, laughing so hard throughout the second oh. one because we thought it was really funny. And it so, is. They are funny movies, though. Yeah, like, That's there what I liked about it. It wasn't just... Yeah, yeah, it wasn't just scary. And, and so... We were laughing like so hard. I had like one of the worst headaches I've ever had when I got out of the movie because I was laughing so hard. And I think it was at uh, Center Twin downtown. You know oh, how it's okay. like really so it's small, small in there. Shaking. So I, I think we made people real mad. But I like I could not control myself. I thought it, I had a good time. I um, thought it was really funny. Well, <laughs> the Center Twin is the that's the first movie theater I ever went to. I was like ten years old and we went to watch Batman Forever. Or, yeah, oh yeah, that one. That one. <laughs> yeah. So everybody hates that one, but it's like it holds a special place in no, my heart because it's the first it's time fun, I went to the movies. Yeah. yeah, that that's the thing. I don't take Batman too serious. Like people take comic books too seriously. It's like, like I like, I like the shit, serious but. ones, like Dark Knight and stuff. But like you gotta like the fun ones too. See, and I've never watched Dark Knight. That, it's pretty good. You should watch it. Should. I've only watched Returns and like the last three of that series. I've never even watched the first Batman. I mean, the further back you go, the more silly it gets. I remember, well, the like, Batman got, from the like, 60s. The Adam West yeah. Stuff, yeah, I watched that movie. I grew up watching that movie. Oh, okay, yeah. Tape. So you're you're well used to that. That it's crazy. They he, they dehydrate like all these <laughs> world leaders from everywhere. Uh huh. And so then there's just all these little powder. Okay. But then they fucking knock them over, and so they get all mixed up. Oh gosh. And so then Batman, <laughs> he's a scientist. He's able to rehydrate them. <laughs> And they come back to life, but, like, the Chinese guy is talking Spanish, and, like, the guy from England is talking, like, French, and, like, they're all just mixed up. And so then him and he tells Robin just to back out slowly, Uh and they leave out the window, and they roll down the window with their ropes or some Uh shit. And then that's the end of the movie. What? (laughs) (laughs) They just left the world in disarray I don't think I watched that far back. I have watched almost every Batman movie made. Yeah. Yeah. You like them? 
I mean, I've been dragged to them. <laughs> but, no, they're pretty cool. I think the last one I remember I watched was, like, with Catwoman and stuff. And it, they're pretty cool. I don't know. It was, like, a four-hour-long movie. And, mm-hmm. But I sat through it, and I thought it was great. Yeah. I just, I like them, but, like. The, uh, well, it, and, uh, this from the guy that just said, "Don't take comic books too seriously." Like, <laughs> it was the first time. Like, pretty young, I was like, "That fool doesn't have superpowers." Like, uh, like, like no, Spider-Man can waste them. You know? Yeah, he doesn't. But, um, but, and then that first one, there's a scene where that 1960s, the Adam West one. There's mm-hmm. a scene where he has a bomb and he's trying to get rid of it, mm-hmm. but like he goes to throw it and there's like these ducklings swimming. So then he goes <laughs> and throws it and there's like a marching band, these old ladies, uh-huh. and then he's like, "These days, you just can't get rid of a bomb." And then my daughter got really into watching the series that was on Netflix, the superhero girls. Uh-huh. And there's a scene where Harley Quinn's trying to get rid of a bomb. And then she says, these days you can't get rid of a bomb. And oh, I was like, dude, what? look oh, at that's that. that's fun. And I was like, that's cool. I wonder how so many people cool. caught on to Probably that. like me. You know what? <laughs> yeah. that's, the only, that's the only one I haven't watched. I think I was single. What, the Harley Quinn one? Yeah. The one, uh, like the newer one with the Joker. That's the only with one the I haven't watched. With the shitty Joker, like the one about the <laughs> the one with like <laughs> with the, all the like, bad damaged on his forehead or whatever. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Uh, like I watched that when I worked at the uh, meat place, uh-huh. and like I, like we would work till like three in the morning uh-huh. checking ovens, but we'd just be watching Netflix all night <laughs> <laughs> and drinking. That's the yeah, I'm pretty yeah, sure that's the only one I haven't watched. Like I've been to all of them just because whoever I'm dating at that moment liked <laughs> like, Let's go to Batman. <laughs> yeah, let's go to Batman. <laughs> Did you watch Joker with uh, Joaquin Phoenix? I don't know. Where Maybe. He, where he kills Robert De Niro at the end? Shoots him in the head? Yes. You yeah. That? Yeah. Did you like that? Yeah. Did you like Did you guys watch that and like that? I, I watched it. I, I it wasn't watched. like my favorite, but I, I enjoyed it. The, I liked it a lot. The Joker. Yeah. It was a good movie. I liked I it I liked a lot it. Yeah. There were some things in it that I, I really enjoyed and like overall the story was good. I just did. I. The only thing that made me not like it that much was, like, some of the continuity with it was kind of weird, just compared to, like, I guess the the rest of, the, like, the already existing universe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I, I don't know. I was just a little bit of a stickler that way, with but that. overall, mm-hmm. just, like, as a movie, I enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. My friend Sean, who's, like, that's like Batman's, like, his life, mm-hmm. he was telling me, like, He's like, it would have been so much cooler instead of Joker if it was just named like Arthur. Because that dude's name was Arthur in the oh, movie. Oh yeah, yeah. He's like, don't mention that it's a Batman-related movie and let people just kind of fucking figure it out as you go. Uh-huh. Oh, I was yeah, like, that oh, that would have been it, bomb. Yeah, yeah. Like, it shows up to Wayne Manor I and you're could, like, yeah. wait a minute, what the fuck? <laughs> I, I and agree. then by the end, he's just a clown with green hair, and you're like, yeah. oh, I get it now. Yeah. That would have been cool. Yeah, it was sad in a way too. Like, yeah. Oh yeah, that's why I yeah. liked it because it's yeah. like, it's pretty psycho. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was a good movie. And my mom's like, yeah, I always have dreams like that. Like, I always imagine mm-hmm. that I kill people and shit. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> she really enjoyed it. I bought it for her that year for Christmas, I think. Really? Because we watched it and she really mm-hmm. liked it. And then, uh, <clears throat> what well, I wanted to talk to you about, because I just barely saw, um, so you used, to, you used to post videos playing guitar? Oh, shit? yeah. Not, like, a lot, but I would just, like, I would just post one, like, every now and then when I was practicing, so... I would do, like, live streams and, like, just practice guitar on lives and, like, yeah. talk to people. Sometimes they'd, like, give me a song and I'd be like, yeah, that kind of sounds fun. And I'd look it up and start trying to play it. But you stopped because uh, people are, are haters? Or I had, like, two or three videos that went viral of me just, like, kind of fucking around on guitar. Like, just playing, like, kind of a fairly simple, like, riff or something and, like... Uh, all of a sudden, they just started, like, the comments went crazy. Mm-hmm. I was getting, like, super harassed. Everyone was like, wow, you can't play. Like, you're so terrible. You need what? to practice this. Fuck or, like, that. people, like, even if they weren't trying to be rude, they were just, like, very heavily critiquing. They are like, you need to practice this better. You need to do this. How come you're, you need to use a metronome? And, like, <laughs> I know. I'm just, I'm just casually playing. I'm not, like, a professional musician. I'm just some kid at their house with a guitar. Or, like... Yeah on the internet like chill people can but, be cruel for no reason at oh, all <laughs> yeah like people <laughs> they got, got a keyboard insane. that's <clears throat> crazy so i i i, I don't know i i kept uh kind of egging them on a little bit i was poking the bear a little bit and i started posting even more videos for a small period and it they kept making them more angry, and I thought that was pretty entertaining. That is entertaining. <laughs> but that kind of makes me like think about the national anthem that was just saying. It's like everywhere oh, right now, that, huh? Yeah. 
That chick said she was uh, drunk and that she's going into rehab now. Yeah, I just saw oh, that. Oh, I saw something about this. What was that? Even a baseball game? I have no idea. <laughs> I just like, it like, like it's like all over TikTok. Like, oh my gosh, don't don't let people <laughs> like think that this is our national anthem, you know? And I was like, dang, she does sing terribly. <laughs> I don't even know who it is. So uh, yeah, me neither. That's not the first person that butchers a national anthem. Though, yeah. So oh yeah. It's like, but. They but but listening social listening. media is so big now. I guess yeah. that it's oh yeah, it's you can't well, mess up now. <laughs> who was it? There was like, there was one person, in I think like the '90s that had to sing like the national anthem at some big event, and they were like a really well-known celebrity. I think mm-hmm. I can't remember who it was though. And they like they basically. Uh, like lost their career over it uh-huh. because they did it so badly. Like I think they got some of the words wrong and like a whole bunch. I wish I remember I think who I, that I, was. I think I do remember that. I don't remember who it I was. I remember either. that happening to Fergie. Is it too? Also, Fergie, really? oh, did it? Yeah. I didn't think it was Fergie. I thought it was someone else. If I, it was, I you're thinking of the nineties. It was probably not Fergie, but yeah. I, remember, yeah. I remember that happening to Fergie mm-hmm. also. Where I think she I vaguely remember Butcher that one too. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. And it's everywhere. Like there's yeah. a uh, the one where Julio Preciado fucks up the Mexican one. Oh yeah. <laughs> Have you ever seen that? Like, and it was the same thing. I think he was just really drunk because he's yeah. an incredible singer, but he's just fucking yeah. sloshed up there. Yeah. Eesh. And everybody just hated him forever for it. Well. But, but you know. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I used to do. Last year, I would always go on live also, uh-huh. and same thing with the guitar. But people just start criticizing any little things, and people it was. Get so and mean. I felt the same way. That's why I stopped doing it. And I'm like. I'm like the guitar just happens to be here when I hit live, so it's not right, like and well, and it's something to do because it's yeah. awkward when you're doing like a live stream and you're just sitting there and no one's saying anything, so you don't know what to say either. Yeah. You gotta have like I'll try and like do my makeup or play guitar or like show off a, like a collection of something. Like I have to have something to keep me busy, or else it just gets awkward and like it's not very engaging. So like, what's the point? But. Do you like a, you've never done like a get ready with me video and shit like that? Is that be um, dope? I've done some. I'm really bad at it though, because it, it takes me so much longer to get ready if I do that. And I'm if I'm doing like a video rather than like a stream, mm-hmm. it's it's like so much work to edit because it's like hard to like get the camera right while I'm trying to do my makeup so that I don't look silly yeah. or like show the pile of dirty laundry in the background oh, or exactly. whatever. <laughs> so like. I, d- I don't usually do those because I just think they're they're too much work and then, yeah. But you ever done one of those? Maybe? No. Didn't you do one when you got stung <laughs> by the bee? <laughs> yeah, no, I guess that was like it was that kind of like because you were like out of the shower me. showing us how your face was. Yeah, I was, I was like this, and I was like, I'm gonna show you guys something. If you're scared of uh, like ugly things, don't look. <laughs> <laughs> and I had like 15 people watching. And then I like go like this, and then there was like thirty people watching. <laughs> and I was like, "So the this whole face happened." Was all swollen as fuck. I look like like Rocky, <laughs> <laughs> like the guy off the Goonies. It was oh, horrible. Yeah. It was bad. It was bad. You haven't had any more bee encounters this year. Um, uh, there was a bee the other day, and I just screamed like hell. <laughs> You haven't had any? No. Uh, never, not, never, raccoons out here or anything anymore? Not yet. <laughs> I think I've only seen like raccoons once living here, and that was like out in the foothills oh. when I lived there. I was yeah, like, that is had, weird that they were we, right in the city. We though. had some right here in this garbage can, right here behind Jimmy John's. In Jimmy John's, I mean, some business. Had you never said what business it was? You always just said the business across the way. Because huh? you've told the story before. Yeah. She was pissed because they were using her trash can, but they were using her trash because they were scared, they were of, the scared of raccoons. They were scared to use their own because the raccoons were in it. <laughs> and it wasn't even the Jimmy John's employees. It was somebody else that was using Jimmy John's garbage. They yeah. weren't even supposed to be using their garbage. They just didn't want to pay for their own garbage. Do you like Jimmy John's? you ever go over there? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, when I am stuck here and I don't have anybody helping me, like I just get on my app, order something, and I notice there's no cars around, and I run across the street, <laughs> grab it, and run back. Oh yeah. I like their BLTs. <clears throat> yeah. That's like what I got. Do you like those sandwiches? I, I don't really like bread very the much. The bread is hard. <laughs> I don't. You have to get used to it. But you don't it. like yeah. that bread, or you don't like bread in general? I, I don't like a lot of bread in general. Like, even if I get a burger, and I'm like, this is too bready, I'll start, like, tearing it oh. apart so it's less bready. Like, I just don't <laughs> like it when things are very bready. Get, like, a lettuce wrap burger? <laughs> yeah. or they, they do have lettuce wraps. They're um, sandwiches, and they're really good. 
when I was gluten free, I actually had you were a few doing gluten free. Oh, yeah. Why? Um, when I before I got divorced, I was about to get divorced, and I like noticed that I was embarrassed. Like, hey, one day somebody else is gonna see me naked. And like, <laughs> I just realized like I have all these bumps all over my thighs and like my back area and just like, where did they come from? You know? So I started investigating it. Turns out it's a gluten intolerance. Oh. And so I looked up every single sign of gluten intolerance and I had every single sign. So I went gluten free for about 18 months and Man, and like it changed my life. Wow. Yeah. But Within you're back two to weeks. It, like, you eat normal now? Yeah, I eat normal now. It, but anytime, like after two weeks, if I even touched anything gluten, I would get so sick. Oh, like, yeah. Like I'm talking, like I had to run to the bathroom and I pretty much didn't make it every single time because oh. it was so bad. Yeah, or headaches, like where I couldn't even see at all because the headaches would be so bad. There was things I didn't know was gluten, like soy sauce. Oh, so I didn't know that either. Has, yeah. That's crazy. It's Everything bad. Is. I'm yeah. learning so much. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's not just bread. Like, bread and pasta are the huge things, but anything that has, like, soy sauce is gluten. So huh. it's, like, it's bad. Yeah, so, yeah. I have a friend who has celiac disease, and he can't, oh. so he can't do gluten. That's and that's, and that's why he, he gets all pissed when people do, like, gluten-free diets, mm-hmm. like, for as a fad yeah he's like you think i didn't want to eat a fucking pizza like, yeah <laughs> no kill. and and you know yeah like it obviously it didn't taste better yeah. um and so it was annoying and then i felt like embarrassed and awkward anytime i'd go out to eat with somebody you have to ask yeah i'm like oh, i have to be all you know like picky and special yeah. but yeah i started like eating it again and i mean i don't get those bumps anymore um uh, i lost so much weight within the first month like it was crazy I think I lost like 15 pounds within 30 days. Just by, wow, just yeah. by cutting out like just, breads and shit. Yeah. And well, all gluten. Yeah. But like bread's like the big one. Yeah. Huh? Well, I would like go to lunch on my on my break at, at work and then I'd come back and I'd just get so tired and just sitting there, you know, I'm like, I can't even like keep my eyes open. When I went gluten free, like that didn't happen ever anymore. I mean, yeah, because like the carbs just like make yeah. you sleepy with like how yeah. your body absorbs yeah. it or whatever. Yep. I don't know. It Alex was probably knows more. You, <laughs> you do more of the like nutrition stuff than I do. I'm on a seafood diet right now. So You're on a seafood <laughs> diet? <laughs> Everything you see, you eat. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you were going to say? Oh, see, I'm, I mentioned this last time. I'm like, I'm too gullible. Like, You're like, you just eating fish that. and shit? What the fuck? <laughs> That's what I thought. I'm like, you're just eating like shrimp and like fillets and things. Like, oh, you weirdo. <laughs> I've heard that one before. No, it's, it's good and I just craving something i'm just like uh let's just go and get it and get it over with (laughs) (laughs) i don't know i feel like you're always doing like different diet things for wrestling and whatever well when i was wrestling yeah i was dieting pretty hard i lost probably 15 pounds in a month wow wow. yeah just to get into a weight class i would do well in i remember that that's dedication i'm like my brother did that too and i'm like "Mm, i don't know how how you guys do that you see dudes wearing like trash bags and shit under their sweatpants running Mm -hmm. laps like (laughs) trying to sweat it off yeah i had a friend that like he was super big into wrestling in high school and he would like get up at 4 a.m and go jogging for like a couple of hours Mm. was like super strict about his diet and was like constantly doing like something and I was like, that's too much. <laughs> I mean, some people get scholarships to be in a certain weight class, and they have to. And then they have to maintain. You have that. to, like, yeah. And that's a tough age to maintain that. Like, if you go to college, because that's where you're growing mm-hmm. a lot. That's oh, where yeah. you. That's where yeah. you like start beefing up or. Metabolism just starts bigger, yeah. changing and everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So are you are you still going to high school next year or what? Uh, yeah, I'm going to start my senior year. Your senior. In the fall. Year. Oh, cool. Where do you go to school? I F. I F. Where'd you get, Where'd you graduate from? I went to oh, Bonneville, you from Lincoln. but I graduated at Lincoln, yeah. You went to like every other high school, right? Every other high school, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rigby. They kicked you out because you were using a Ouija board. <laughs> 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 Pretty much. <laughs> Jumped around every town. <laughs> Did you graduate from IF? Yeah. Oh. That's, That's cool. Yeah. That's crazy. Like, you see people like, I like... I mean, you you kind of stick out in this town. I, I'm surprised I'd never seen you before. Yeah, I get asked a lot until, if I'm from here. Pretty much every yeah. time I go into like somewhere new and talk to somebody, they're like, "So are you from here?" You I'm would like, assume yeah. you moved here from somewhere else. Yeah, they're yeah. like, "You 
from Seattle? I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I asked because uh, he, like, introduced me to you, like, oh, do you want to be on the podcast? And I was like, yeah, who is that? And he sent me things. And I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. Like, you're super, you're super popular. On, Isn't on, that crazy? That's what yeah. I'm saying. Like, it wasn't until uh, Tayson showed me, showed me. <laughs> your page and i started following you and i was like 227,000 followers that's I like, what i said i was like that's, that's awesome like that's like all of <laughs> idaho falls plus more but <laughs> we're out here like yeah. trying to hustle like, trying that's to get badass. there i wish i was <laughs> like, like, it was like an accident it. for me i was just like posting stuff because i was yeah. bored during covid and mm-hmm. i was like man i'm driving my husband crazy because mm-hmm. i'm like hey did i want to show you this thing let me show you this whole new thing here's my new favorite thing and he'd be like You've told me five times. So I'd be like, all right, I'm going to go put it online because no one will talk to me. Got to tell someone. I was like, yeah, that's exactly what it was. And then we're like, wow, this is cool. And I'm like, oh, crap, what's happening? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, I'm like, I got 4,000 followers barely last month on Facebook. And I was like, oh, my gosh, that's so exciting. And you're over here with 227,000. And you're like, that's embarrassing. Yeah, I didn't want it, but here I am. Yeah. That's cool. Do you ever get any backlash from that, like when you're in school? Or anything? Uh, no. Most people think it's really cool that my sister is famous and that <laughs> it's like, oh my gosh, that that's Maddie Danger's brother over there. Like I got pointed out one time at Walmart uh, or and at the mall, and it was really it's like that peripheral fame. That's my. Aren't there yeah. like some people that they're like, you're not her brother? I had two people at school one time. There's like, you're not her brother. You're not this. You're not that. And I'm, I'm like, and so I pulled out my phone and I showed them. Okay, cool. Like, here's my sister's contact <laughs> in my phone. I have her Snapchat. Here's this. Here's that. And they're just like, no, this, that. <laughs> no <laughs> the, like nah. multiple videos that you're in, mm-hmm. like. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. That's that's good that you don't think it's embarrassing though. My kids think it's embarrassing. Like I'm not like famous. When people recognize yeah, you I'm not about. famous or anything, but my kids are like, Why does everybody know you? Why do we have to stop and say hi to everybody? And I'm like, It's fine. How come everybody knows you? It's embarrassing, mom. Or at the school, like I'll go to school and all their little friends, oh my gosh, your mom is Awas Maria. And like, Can we get horchata? Or like they'll just start acting like, oh, do you have to come to school? Oh. <laughs> That's so funny. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, I ain't, and I ain't even all that. <laughs> and that was worth 4,000 followers. Yeah. <laughs> but do you guys have other siblings? Uh, we have one that's uh, not really spoken about. Oh. <laughs> we have one other sibling that she's the middle child, and we do not mention her at all for some reason. Sometimes we kind of forget she exists, honestly. Oh. We'll be like, she's oh, like the right. black sheep? I don't I, it's hard to say because like kind sheep. of our whole family is really weird <laughs> yeah. the more I think about it like I'll, I'll think things are like normal and then I'll be talking about something and then I'm like they'll just give me really weird and looks and like, I'm like oh right I forget that's it's a little odd like everyone in my family has like a different last name like our last names are different and our mom's last name is different dad's last name is different like it's all like it's it's kind of crazy. Did you say you're like the most normal person in your family? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Who's the most normal person in our family? Do you think? Even our grandma's weird. Like, true <laughs> grandma is weird. Like she helped you build a coffin. Yeah, she. My grandma helped me build the coffin. Oh really? Or like, I don't know. She's in her 70s and she's like i just bought this super expensive bike i'm gonna go bike this crazy place or i'm hiking the devil's staircase this weekend i'm like all right grandma and she's just (laughs) like these teenagers almost died and i'm like what are you going on about she's like yeah on the hike they had to get a helicopter and get them out and i'm like what are you doing? And so oh, she's, geez. I don't know, she's funny. That's cool. Yeah, our grandma's awesome. <laughs> and there's a big age gap between you two. Yeah, it's like 11 years. Yeah, that's why when I met you, I was like, is that her kid? Or I what the fuck? Because that that's why I'm like, but at the same time, it's like, she would have had to have him like super young. Yeah. Like, but yeah. So how old is your, the middle person? Uh, she's like two years younger than me. Okay. The middle person. So. <laughs> <laughs> the unnamed sibling. It's like anytime somebody says it, like I have flashbacks of when I had my first baby. She was a week old. We went to our one week appointment. She was wearing a pink dress, 
there was pink like um blanket everything she even had little things on her hair and the nurse goes um okay but can i have you undress it <laughs> what? what? At least say like them or something. Why are you calling a baby it? Yeah, That's she so called weird. my baby it. I was like, especially like a born baby. I could understand if it's yeah. like, you and know. I'm like, um, I mean, you could definitely tell it was a girl. Like she had pink everything and a dress. Like where do you get it from? <laughs> That's so strange. Yeah. Please she address was, the subject. <laughs> the subject. <laughs> she was a younger nurse, probably like maybe 20 i don't know 22 but i'm like why would that's hurtful it's weird maybe she just didn't want to assume i guess i don't know <laughs> when my baby's in pink but okay and it's rough did you your, were your babies like hairy though did you have long, long <laughs> yeah my ba- my daughter was hairy that's very good. hairy well that's better because that's the thing like i see babies like bald babies mm-hmm. and i'm like well it's cute because i'm like sometimes you can't tell if it's a boy or a girl yeah no there's obviously so, like, with my times, little girls yeah. like you can tell because they have the long yeah. hair as soon as they were born they have the little, yeah little is that a thing what the do like <laughs> what i'm so I'll confused you, i'll show you my baby my babies actually babies with hair yeah <laughs> well like is that what you're confused about <laughs> <laughs> like uh i don't know you were saying that like you can tell it's a girl because they have a hair wait is that like well yeah because you because you would do because we would put oh like, because stuff they in would like hair. do their hair like, yeah that's yeah. my okay, okay. that's my baby she was a month old okay yeah, yeah. so yeah. you can tell she's a girl right yeah, you yeah, put yeah, stuff yeah. In the yeah. Hair, yeah that's what i mean yeah. like we would do like two little little antennas yeah little, <laughs> little, little antennas, antennas. <laughs> yeah like my daughter had a bow in her hair yeah and she had a dress a pink dress like and a pink blanket with a pink stroller and everything like was pink i mean i don't know I maybe don't they know. like are a time was, traveler and we're confused because yeah. like i was I so know, taken baby boys used to be like more yeah. yeah like it was like common to put boys in dresses pink and, and pink and, and pink like maybe <laughs> maybe they're from like the 1700s or something and <laughs> i heard a thing about that like i, I guess in like uh-huh. the early 1900s still here in this country like mm-hmm. like babies just were so unsexualized that it was like not even gendered they were just all be neutral colors or pink, like and they boys wear and like girls. dresses because it was like easier to change diapers. So yeah, it's like all that makes kids sense. wore dresses. That's weird. Well, I wish that was the first time that happened, but the second time, <laughs> she was like eight months old. We were at Walmart. We walked into the subway because there used to be a subway in Blackfoot inside Walmart. She still had a pink blanket and a pink dress, and she had ponytails because she already had long hair. And this girl dude i don't know yeah i don't even know what it was <laughs> oh your baby's so cute is it a boy or a girl and I'm like, dude i can't even tell if you're a boy or a girl <laughs> like it sounded like a man but you could kind of tell that if like it was a, a girl they like, like had like, like a bra feminine yeah no it was like- very male wait it was a no had feminine voice but looked like a male and you could kind of tell that they had like a sports bra that was like squishing their boobs you know like so you can look see. like a man it, had, it was short hair too but the voice was like a girl mm. so i'm like i can't even tell what you are don't be asking me what my little girl <laughs> i'm like i don't know i just I've, I've never understood why people have to like go up to like either pregnant women or people with like really young like like babies like infants mm-hmm in like public places and just like talk to them about their kid i'm like <laughs> i've always thought that was weird like when my mom was pregnant with with him uh-huh. we'd like be at walmart or something and like random people would come up and be like they'd start like rubbing her belly what? and being like oh my gosh that's so exciting and i'd be like who is this and then like after they would go away i'd be like mom who was that and they'd just be like i don't know and then, like know. even after he was born we'd be like out somewhere and people would be like oh my gosh uh and they'd just like start asking all these questions and i was like why are people so like extreme about needing to know about some random person's child yeah i always think that's so strange i don't know (laughs) some people don't got boundaries yeah (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. my two my two are six years apart and so we went to we were at mcdonald's one day and they were wearing matching outfits Mm -hmm. and so one's eight and the other one's two and the lady there asked me, she was like, yeah, are, you, are they are they twins? And I was like. <laughs> six years apart. And I was like, they're six years apart. Are you fucking blind? And she said, no, I just didn't think a fuck face like you could get laid twice. <laughs> <laughs> You've told that one before. 
<laughs> what, that no, story? it's a good one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> when, but you know what? When I was 12, my mom, 12, 13. I was 13 because my little brothers were born when I was 12 and 13. And my, she would always let, like have me take care of them because um, she was a... Uh, addicted to what is that called uh, gambling no. so they, they let leave us out at walmart or at mcdonald's for hours and i was taking care of them and somebody came up to me oh are those your kids i was 12 <laughs> i was 12 i didn't leave I, I didn't i didn't even look like i was i see that's like me and 18 my brother. when i was 18 like, is that your kid <laughs> like, no, i'm her brother <laughs> Even when I was 18, I still looked like I was 12. So I don't know why I was being called, asked if I was the mom at 12 years old. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, yeah. did you guys see uh, Donald Trump got shot? Oh, yeah. Thing. Oh, yeah. That's been everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> We're we talking about politics now. Well, I usually try not to about, talk about current events because I like uh-huh. this to be evergreen. But that was badass when they I shot him. I haven't seen it. Like, you know no, I've, I've seen, seen, seen a bunch of angles and yeah. stuff by now. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's everywhere. But yeah, yeah, it's everywhere. But then everybody has their theories. Yeah. Do so you think yeah. that was set up? I uh, I don't know. I would be inclined to say no, but, like, I don't know. He's also, like... The type a- to do Attention that. getter. Yeah, he's such <laughs> an attention, attention guy. And then, like, I don't know. He's stupid, and maybe he would be stupid enough to do something like that. Because I guess, like, one of the theories I've seen around is a bunch that, like... Uh, what was it for like after Reagan's like assassination attempt his like approval rating skyrocketed yeah. so every, a lot of people are mm-hmm. like oh yeah what if what if he like arranged this so that his approval rating would go up for this election and I'm like who knows fucking yeah. maybe yeah and it makes <laughs> sense and it already like, has you yeah, already it's seen everywhere people. like oh, pray yeah, for it's, Trump it's true oh, yeah, and they're like everywhere. oh he's like a national hero he'd die for this country and it's like oh god, god. <laughs> it's unfortunately gonna work like he's unfortunately gonna win now because of this Ugh. I think it's very possible that it was all a setup for that reason I think it's definitely yeah. possible <laughs> like it definitely could be set up but. yeah I agree you were voting for him anyway, weren't you, Marie? <laughs> <laughs> I like like to stay away. You're a big Trump supporter. <laughs> I like to stay away. Did you see your truck out there has that fucking MAGA flag on it? <laughs> I always talk like, shit on I... this show. Let's clarify that I was lying. That's not true. <laughs> I don't want to break flying through your fucking shop window. The next yeah, couple of coming weeks. in here like. So you're a Trump supporter, <laughs> <laughs> but hey, around here that's looked up as a good thing. Yeah, you might switch oh, up customers. Yeah. So, we were just talking about Franklin's last time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh gosh, that's. Have why you ever I gone don't. to Franklin's hot dogs? Uh uh-uh. Over by the museum, kind of. Uh uh-uh. uh. What? I still haven't gone there. I, I went in there once because I I was. Uh, I'm trying I've to remember. I've seen it. It's yeah. right across, right? Yeah, it's right across Kay. from like the museum and everything. Uh-huh. And like the one time I went in there, I was like, "Oh, this is so strange because they had like giant cutouts uh-huh. of like Biden and Trump's heads and like a whole bunch of like little like blurby bubble, like speech bubbles, like uh-huh. comic books all over just like saying like super unhinged weird shit." What? Uh and it was just like a whole bunch of like oh yeah biden's a fucking idiot and look at how cool trump is and how funny he is and they were like everywhere in the restaurant and i was like this is so strange like what the heck i was like what did i just walk into i you know what and i think that's why i don't like to talk about politics or even get into it i don't even study it i don't even care because (laughs) of my business because i don't like yeah like i i don't go anyway you know like i'm not one-sided or the other like they're both stupid can we just can we just all like sign something that we get a new like somebody new <laughs> just um, like flush everything yeah. Yeah. get oh, get yeah. new ones in. yeah maybe but no. people not like mm-hmm. old as dirt yeah, <laughs> that's the drama like, out. but there's like there's a lot of things like as a business owner like you just keep your mouth out of you know your feet yeah, out of I mean, or you whatever gotta worry about your business yeah it's like yeah so that's so crazy to me that they got that stuff over there because yeah. i was like i've I don't know. I was a little blown away. I was like, that's crazy. There was the food yeah. good, though? I don't even think it I didn't eat any food. Oh. Uh, I was like, this is too awkward. You're like, this uh, has too much bread. <laughs> it has too yeah. much too bread. <laughs> <laughs> I just yeah. I, I just had a water. I don't remember. Were you there for that? 
I don't. I couldn't remember if you were there or not, but. Yeah, and ever since then, I'm like, oh, I need to go, and I haven't gone. <laughs> <laughs> now you want to go? Yeah, like I want to go too. That's one of those places I always drive by, and I'm like, that looks like there's never anyone there, but it's always been open. So I'm like, huh. something. So, so it's got to be good. Like, or Weird. maybe it's like, like a know. laundering front. Yeah, that's. Yeah. I, I think that's that about what I always wonder about, like places like that yeah. that like. They've been around for like ever, but you never see them never getting see a lot of business, or they have like wacky hours to yeah. where like no mm-hmm. one would be going. I'm like, dude, that's sketch. Like no one's <laughs> ever told you like, hey, come here and check. You should go check this place out. Like yeah. you've never heard of anyone going there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I think there is a lot of that. Yeah. yeah. Which when I first opened here, I got accused of money laundering. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> really. <laughs> and they're like, yeah, she's she's a girl. Like and <laughs> she's like a girl. look at her. Like they would never expect it from her. And I'm like. You know Come what? look at the hours I work, please. <laughs> I think I, like, now that you say that, that makes sense to what someone was telling me once, like, when I like when I first first met you, very first mm-hmm. open, and I think that's what they were getting at, now that I think about it. Because they, like, <laughs> they were like, think about it, like, how, like, how is she going to, like, how is she going to make it work just off of that? Like, she's mm-hmm. not having food or anything in there, and I was like, I don't know. We'll see that in, like, the... It's I, new. Do, it's different. <laughs> do, do either of you guys or any of you guys follow, like, the local Facebook groups? Mm-hmm. Yeah, those are always Life like super, Falls. Yeah, they're like always unhinged. Mm-hmm. I feel like maybe that'll be like another thing that pops up in there. Like, <laughs> oh, did you know that she's she's laundering money? Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, I've heard of it. I've been accused of it, and I'm just like, <laughs> I've never even smoked a cigarette. <laughs> like, please. <laughs> I was gonna get you high today, but I oh my god, I, again! <laughs> I've been trying to get her high forever. <laughs> like not only this ghost thing, but I tell him like I got I got special powers. I got like dreams, and then they come true. Oh yeah! Oh. Like last when he last he reached week. out to me last week. Hey, can you be on the podcast? And I was like, yeah. And I woke up and I like I was talking to somebody, and I had a dream that this person was. Um, <laughs> like getting high on coke <laughs> and then like that he offered it to me and wanted me to get into coke and he <laughs> thought it was so cool and then he texts i wake up and i'm like i just had a dream about you like the craziest <laughs> thing and then this one right here is like guess what i'm gonna get you high today <laughs> and i was like what oh, that's funny. <laughs> i just watched friday rewatched friday and so that was like fresh on my mind <laughs> and, like, uh, and so I was like, oh my God, we're going to today. She ain't got shit to do. <laughs> you ever watch that movie, Friday? Uh-uh. You've never watched Friday? You guys should watch it. You I've watched, watched it, it, but it's been a long, long time. Really? That's like, like I don't a really classic. Remember. Like I watch it and mm-hmm. rewatch it. Mm-hmm. And huh. it was, I th- I thought it was Friday, but it was a Saturday. I oh. It. <laughs> <laughs> That's a classic flick. You should watch it. Yeah. We were talking about movies last time. You, those guys hadn't watched the SLC Punk. And oh, yeah. Have you ever watched that one? Mm-mm. Uh, they say you should watch it. We need to have like yeah. movie have nights for all these Punk? Punk? Yeah. movies. I think I tried to watch it at your house, but I like fell asleep. Oh, that's, oh, that's right. He like falls asleep every time I try to show him a movie at my house. He's like, oh, why are you getting so tired? <laughs> and I'm like, because it's like one in the morning. And then he'll come over and I'll be like, okay, fine. We'll watch, we'll put a movie on. And then I'll like look over like 15 minutes into the movie and he's out. <laughs> uh, I'll be like shaking him like he's out. And I'm just like, dude. You were just saying, like, oh, why are you so tired? And now you're the one falling asleep during the movie, you loser. I'm, I'm, ba- I'm bad with that now, too. But I'm old. Like, it makes yeah, sense for me. I'm, I'm like, you're, you're young. a young yeah. teenager. Why are you falling asleep so early? Yeah. I, was, I think after 35 is when that started happening. Like, I'll sit down and watch something. Yet. I'm surprised I watched Friday the other night. Like, yeah. I actually watched all the way through. I hardly ever watch movies, honestly, unless I'm sitting with my kids and they're like, please, yeah. mom. <laughs> I watch movies a ton with my kids. Mm-hmm. So. Like, and we always watch a lot of the same stuff. So, like, Sing mm-hmm. and Sing Two. Those oh, are yeah. like our favorites. Yeah. But then, like Coraline. I haven't watched that. And uh, they like a lot of that, like mm-hmm. uh, that shit, like that. And mm-hmm. I'm counting on them getting really into Coraline because mm-hmm. I already bought them some Christmas gifts that are like Coraline. <laughs> oh yeah. Movies. So yeah. I'm like, and I think they're they're re-releasing it in theaters in my August. So I'm oh, hoping sweet. they play it here so I can take them to it. Yeah, my kids are weird. Like they watch like. <laughs> Mm, they don't watch little kid stuff but they're not adult stuff either just like we have um one of their more like favorite movies is like uh, what's that football one where with sandra bullock sandra when she adopts um oh that football crap 
I know what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. What is What's that, that movie? movie? Like I know we just for some it. reason all I'm thinking of the is the Longest Yard, but that's like that Adam Sandler uh-huh. movie. <laughs> yeah, no. I was gonna say um, Remember the Titan, but I'm like, and yeah, so now I'm stuck uh, on that. But I think like we've watched that too. Um, Coach Carter, like they watch stuff like they like that. sports movies. Uh, not just sports you movies, have them but watch like Air life. Bud. Yeah, yeah. Oh <laughs> yes, that's a good movie. <laughs> I like that movie. Do you really? Yeah, that right now they're like into Cobra Kai. Oh, oh. I love Cobra Kai. Yeah, and I was like, <laughs> I'm a is big that even a kid fan, so. pro? Is that appropriate for the kids? Yeah, I feel like it's appropriate enough. Yeah, there's certain things you don't that I'm see like, anything too crazy in it, but. I don't know how old they Why, are. Why? Because of the so. violence or what? Uh, no, there's like some things. I didn't know that that's what they were watching, but I was washing dishes and my middle one's like, Mom. So his mom and the coach, <laughs> like they they were falling in love with each other uh-huh. and things went too far and she thinks she's pregnant. And I was like, Things like, went too far. Are what, what are you talking about? I was like, I need to watch this. Like, <laughs> it's PG 13 or something. And I was like, Mm mm. This is not like. My oldest is 12. I got a 10-year-old and an 8-year-old. So, yeah. yeah. So, they, that's the problem, though, is they know a lot more than yeah. what they let on. Well, yeah. it always depends on the kid, I feel like. Because, yeah, like, some true. kids can handle that stuff better mm-hmm. than others. Like, I don't know. I watched, like, anything mm-hmm. growing up, and I was always fine. Mm-hmm. But then, like, there were some things that, like, we had Alec watch growing mm-hmm. up, and, <laughs> like, we thought it was going to be fine. And I was like, ah, f- I watched things way worse than this when oh. I was his age, and then it ended real badly, and I was like, oh, crap, yeah, maybe yeah. kids shouldn't be watching things yeah. like Where that. Were you guys watching, like, The Human Centipede? And shit? No. <laughs> <laughs> maybe not that bad. No, not that bad. <laughs> have you, no, watched, have like, you guys I seen that? I've, I've heard of it, and I know what it is. I we kn- should I know, watch all three of them. I oh, wanna, like, no. And I know you've seen, like, the first one and a half. And, and I know you've talked about it before, so I know what it is. I've never watched it, but I'm like... Like, my two favorite trilogies are Back to the Future and... <laughs> human centipede. Oh my God. Alec, have you seen the human centipede movies? No, but I hear they're infamously bad. They're great. They're incredible. <laughs> they're scientific. Oh, that movie. Now that I think about it, it's The Blind Side. The Blind Side. Oh, that's yeah. what it is. Yep. Did you hear about, like, I guess, like, the truth behind that movie or whatever? Uh, uh-uh. I don't know. I'd, do you want me to possibly ruin it for you? <laughs> okay, I won't say anything. Was otherwise. it okay? So I remember like the end of it, and I and I just I got my own opinion about it. I was like, are they was were they doing it just to like get their votes or whatever, <laughs> like into a certain you know like, um, what is it candidate or whatever? Yeah, yeah. Is that what is that what you're talking about? No, it's something else. Oh. Uh, because, like, most of it is, like, pretty much a true story. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's but, what I've heard. Yeah, like, for the most part, yeah. And, mm-hmm. like, you know, it's a movie, so, like, obviously yeah. it's not going to be fully accurate. Yeah. But I guess, like, I don't know if the how much, like, after the movie this was or if mm-hmm. it was before they had, like, done the movie or whatever. Mm-hmm. But I guess, like, the, the son that was adopted, mm-hmm. like, he like really didn't agree with like a lot of the family and like what they were putting him through and mm-hmm. like didn't actually want to do most of what he did and they like portrayed it very differently in the movie oh. like he never wanted to play for that team uh-huh. he wanted to play for the other team i know they had like a little bit of that in the yeah. movie mm-hmm. but it was like far it more was of a thing in real more, life yeah. uh-huh. and then he like he had a hard time with like how much they were pushing religion on him and stuff mm-hmm. and i think like he doesn't talk to them or anything anymore and like it's like a really bad like Uh split with him and like the adopted family Mm -hmm. because of like a lot of the stuff they put him through or something Mm -hmm. yeah so like i don't know it's like it's sad because you want to think like oh this is like a good story but then it's like oh i i I think it was like super like good for my kids to watch because especially my middle one my middle one like i don't know she pays attention to certain things and like she's really smart they're all smart it's surprisingly <laughs> but like, the middle <laughs> one just like catches on things that other people don't catch and she's just like oh my gosh mom like he came for such a poor family like and i'm emotional so Aww. like when i see him like she's he's like she's like um when we get done with the movie like maybe tomorrow can we go like it was around christmas time when we watched it can we go give money to people that are poor Aww. and i'm like yeah we are the poor <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I mean, you can still enjoy the movie, too, you know, like, yeah. aside from that, like, I don't know, you can still be movies. like, that movie yeah. is good, it has, like, an overall, like, yeah. good story and yeah, some like, principles Yeah, like, Coach in Carter, and, too, like, that was a good movie, like, I think they learned some, some la- valuable life lessons, you know? 
a lot of movies though that are like based on real stories they mm-hmm. make them a lot more positive than mm-hmm. yeah or completely change things like the first time i think i noticed that was blood sport with van damme because it's about mm-hmm. a guy named frank dukes who supposedly went to the kumite mm-hmm. and like in the movie he wins but you look him up and he's like no he went once and he lost like <laughs> the very first match and like it's just completely oh and i was like well but the movie's yeah. cool as hell yeah <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, no. Shit, well. no. But I think that's what we need to watch, though, is uh, <laughs> Human Aww. Centipede. I'm still stuck on that. Gross. <laughs> do Human Centipede commentary. Yeah. Episode. Are oh, you down man. to do it? Honestly, I would do it. I might not enjoy it, but I'll but do I'll it. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. I don't think anyone's going to enjoy it, but we're going to do it. <laughs> Except we're, you, f- Mr. I'll favorite like, movie. It's, it's the best. I mean, it's just awesome. The way it builds on each other, too, you're by the third so, one. You're just so different, Rod. By the third yeah, like one. If you want to watch one of the worst movies like ever, <laughs> like so disturbing, terrible, gross. I've heard things about it. I hear it's horrible. I, I just think it's clever. Like The first one's like... <laughs> The, th- the second one is about a guy who watched the first movie and so he tries to redo the thing and he's not a doctor or anything so it's just a lot more gross because he doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> he's breaking people's teeth out with a hammer and shit. And instead of sewing their mouth to their asses he's just like stapling them. And he's in them. jail now, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, and that's the thing. The third movie is about this prison warden who mm-hmm. watches the first two movies and decides to like do that in the prison. And you're going to be number five? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> And so the third one's in a prison, and all the prisoners are ass to mouth oh all the way. God. <laughs> it's pretty terrible. Yeah. It's <laughs> great, though. You should watch it. <laughs> and, and like he said, he's going to be number five. <laughs> be number four. You're skipping. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that. That's gross. <laughs> like getting poop in your mouth and stuff. And then change my kids. It grosses me out. You well, get, that one have time you ever, with your finger, like you were totally fine with. Oh, that. and I stuck my finger on that girl's ass, and I could. Like, came you out. Got a 17. Came out kind of rusty. Oh, that's right. You're in rage. That didn't happen. That's, she's making stuff up. It was in a movie. <laughs> it was in a movie. But I was like, because it was dark, and I couldn't tell. <laughs> It was dark and I couldn't really tell, so I was like, I was like, oh yeah, that is that. And so I just, I was like, as soon as I got a chance, I went to the bathroom. And <laughs> scrubbed it, scrubbed really well. In the movie. In the movie. In, the, in, in the this movie. movie. I should write a movie with a bunch of this wild shit that doesn't sound real. I don't know. Maybe it would become a classic. You know, we've got other Idaho classic movies. I don't know. There's like another one besides Napoleon Dynamite. I can't remember it. Uh, Where the Red Fern Girls? Wait, is that an Idaho movie? Yeah, I think it happened in Idaho. I think so. Wait, I think, or what? at least the author's from here. That's why yeah. the statue in front of the yeah, museum. The library. Or the library. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah, it's what? part of part, part of it happened in Oregon and Idaho. You ever see that statue on there? That? that boy and the dog? That's I'm like, I, lear- I learned it in fifth grade. So. What? I like read that book of my own volition and then hated myself afterwards because mm-hmm. I was like, I love dogs. It won't upset Does me Does he die much. at the end? I've never watched it or read it. get shot? No, I can't remember. I, it's been it a was, long time. I don't remember either. Yeah, it's I been think, like twenty years. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like old yeller bad though. It's I always just, like, confused that I thought I read it, <clears throat> but I always confused it with a book. What's the book where the monkeys escape from the circus train, and they're like getting drunk off a of sour mash? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've never heard of that one. I remembered where the red fern grows though. It's like one of the, there's like the dogs Dan and Anne, and one of them I think like gets shot in a hunting accident or something, and then mm. the other dog gets like so upset that the dog just like dies and then they have to like bury the dogs together and it's just like it's awful <laughs> was it almost famous filmed was it here or in utah what really because i know a guy that was in it like as a huh extra. it's always hard to tell line. if it's like here or utah because yeah. i have like that with footloose too because footloose was like utah and then like obviously slc punk and, and then like they film stuff in utah when it's new uh, pretending to be new york too mm-hmm. I remember mm. my brother was an extra in a episode of um, Touched by an Angel, I think it was the name oh, of the yeah, show. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was supposedly New York City. Uh-huh. And so there's like, you could see him like walking back and forth in the background. <laughs> yeah. and like, so he I looked like multiple that. people. I heard of that when it was happening. Yeah. yeah. And then it, like he, they filmed him. He's like, there's a part where they're reminiscing on something. He's in black and white. Mm-hmm. And he told my little brother, because this was a while ago. My little brother was like little. Mm-hmm. And he told him that when you when you get filmed in black and white, it really hurts. <laughs> do you guys get your humor from your mom or your dad? Uh, my mom. Your mom. My mom for sure. 
<laughs> she's a little twisted like that too. She was for real like talking about the Joker, about how she really identified with mm-hmm. with, a, <laughs> with Arthur Fleck. <laughs> You got kind of the Arthur Fleck hair going. Now that I like oh, it. yeah, yeah, with the headphones on, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I do like it. I, I don't know. Do you like uh, goth stuff and shit like that, too, or not? I'm a little bit. I'm more of a metal person. You're wearing a Metallica shirt. <laughs> I should have worn my children a Bodum shirt. Yeah, he likes a lot more of the, like, metal stuff. Or like, I don't know. You're He's a little all over the place, though. He'll listen to other other things. I don't know everything he listens to. Do you to. Like, like Carly Rae Jepsen and shit like that? Nobody likes her except for me. I like her. <laughs> <laughs> I actually know who you were talking about. I don't know. What do you What do you listen to? Come tell us. Oh, it, Metallica, Children of Bodom, Arch Enemy, I'm on a Mars. Um, some classics like Aerosmith and ACDC. And do you have any like guilty pleasure listens? The Ann Justice for All album. <laughs> How's that a guilty yeah, pleasure? Yeah, that's still like, metal though. I think yeah. she's looking for like that Carly Rae Jepsen kind yeah, of. Yeah, yeah. Like, do you do you like Britney Spears or like <laughs> Katy Perry or something like? You like Katy Perry? California Girls. I was going Taylor <laughs> Swift. <laughs> Party in the USA. Yeah. Are, are you a Swifty? What's your t- stance on Taylor Swift? I feel like I'm interrogating you. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's over dramatized and too much in the spotlight yeah i could agree with that her music's okay <laughs> yeah i i made that statement the other last time the uh, i think taylor swift is a better artist than michael jackson wow really yeah she writes her own music I mean, she that's plays true. the guitar she sings she, she knows produces actual herself. like she knows how to play instruments yeah. she actually understands like music theory and can do work can write her own lyrics yeah like, she does people just hate her because they want to yeah. hate her too i don't know when, I think, yeah. when things get like to a certain height and popularity it it just becomes something that people have to hate on to yeah. there's always the people that don't like things just because yeah. they're popular yeah and, yeah you know that kind of thing so mm-hmm. and that's the thing it's like the only thing she has in common with michael jackson is they have sex with boys and even then she's moved on to <laughs> she's moved on to men no i yeah, was an adult <laughs> i think i just have an unfair bias because i did date a swifty for a short period oh, of time okay. oh you so. did how did that go not well. <laughs> Not well. I mean, I guess you said you did date in in past tense. So yeah. <laughs> did did it end because of the swiftiness? No. In the swiftiness. I didn't know the swiftiness. The, no, it didn't end because of the Taylor Swiftness. No. <laughs> we get no more details. <laughs> yeah. like, we're like waiting. We're like looking. <laughs> we want details on the like teen I romance. Up to a lie detector. <laughs> <laughs> Polygraph you on this podcast. It's gonna oh, start geez. vibrating. <laughs> write this down. Write this down. <laughs> no shit. No, but huh? I was gonna say I have a question for you. Oh shoot. Um, so, um, do you dress like this often, like on a regular basis, or just for certain things? Uh, I, I guess in that context, I would say regularly. It usually just depends on how lazy I am. Because mm-hmm. there's days where I, I just wear like jeans <gasps> your the, shoes are so cool i oh, didn't yeah. even notice those <laughs> <laughs> they make me they make me taller because i'm real uh-huh. short so. okay five foot one. i'm five feet actually i'm not even five foot one oh, <laughs> <wow>. <laughs> but I'm with like, the shoes <laughs> yeah yeah with the shoes i think i'm five three now mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but because i don't know there's days where i'm like super lazy like i'll just wear like the beanie i don't do my hair i do like no makeup i don't even do like eyebrows and uh-huh I'll just wear, like, a band shirt and jeans and tennis shoes, but then, like... But, like, to work, do you dress like this? Yeah, I just came from work. Oh, okay. (laughs) Okay. That's cool. So, or, like, even at my last job, uh, it was, like, business casual. Mm -hmm. So, I, what I usually do uh, whenever I start a new job is I make sure I get the employee handbook as soon as I can, Mm -hmm. and then I just, like, I read the, the dress policy, like, as much as i can and i like memorize it and then uh-huh. i'm like i'll show up to work in something ridiculous and <laughs> they'll be like ah i don't know if you can wear that rule. and i'm like it does this say. fits the I dress code lie. policy <laughs> like because I, I in my last job it was just like a desk job that mm-hmm. i was always at and i was sitting all day and we had to dress business casual and i was like i'm not wearing like polos or something so i was wearing like 
gothic Victorian where I was wearing like big bustle skirts and like <laughs> really freely like long sleeve shirts that like go up to my collar and I uh-huh. look like I don't know I looked like a vampire or pirate or something and I was just going to work like that every day and anytime they tried to say something I'm like there's nothing against this in the dress code policy. This is pretty. They're gonna have to change that dress this code This is pretty policy professional. I'm just wearing a skirt <laughs> and a, a button up top, and so I, I got called in multiple times, and mm-hmm. I did get the dress code changed there slightly. Yeah, no. just slightly. Distracting a little bit to the employees. What was the change? I I'm trying to remember. It was so minor because some of their things were like they specifically said no fishnets. That was before my time there, mm. so I I don't get credit for that one. Um, I don't remember what it was. It was something really minor. I think it was something about jackets because I'd always wear in like my leather jackets that are like all painted and spiked and studded up and everything. And uh, I, it was a really cold building. Like I had like a heated blanket at my desk. It was so cold. So I'd always like come in wearing my jacket or if I got up to walk around to like go to the bathroom or something, I'd put my jacket on and I ran into the manager a couple of times wearing my jacket, and then immediately after, when I got back to my desk, I'd get called into the office oh. about what I was wearing, and I would, every time I would just be like, it's cold, what do you want me to do? Like, I'm not <laughs> the only one that thinks it's cold. This guy, his wife bought him a heated blanket. This guy has a heater under his desk. Like, you're going to tell me I can't wear my jacket and it's cold? I'll I'll challenge you on it. So. Yeah, especially when it's like a comfort thing like that. Yeah, and I'm like, I'm just sitting at a desk all day. I don't talk to anyone or anything. Like, I'm, I'm just on the phone all day. No one sees me. I'm in the corner. Like, let me wear my jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get paid for, like, having such a big following? Like, anything like that? If I, like, was more open to figuring out monetization, uh-huh. I probably would. But, like, for a short while, I was getting paid on Instagram. Okay. But then they, like, changed how, like, Instagram bonuses or whatever worked. Mm-hmm. And... So then I, I wasn't getting paid on there anymore. I get, I guess, paid on TikTok, but it's like, I think I made, at one point, like, $500 in a year. Oh. And so it was, like, oh. not much. I, it was yeah. like, oh, I get, like, one tandoori oven curry uh, <laughs> a month or something. Like, it's okay. not that worth it. Like, yeah. if I if I pushed, like doing like paid partnerships and mm-hmm. sponsorships and things probably but like i don't know yeah i don't think that's me that's it, a lot more work that's like a whole job in itself too. yeah like every once so you'd in have a while, to really want to i guess yeah and like it's never stuff i want to do it's like i i've had strange companies reach out and they're like oh will you please like promote our product for like money and stuff and i'm like this is this would be so weird like oh yeah <laughs> here's a break from talking about music and cars let me tell you about these cleaning products <laughs> like, it would be, it's I too weird I was just weird. trying to go back there and grab a drink <laughs> you're gonna, spot, drink. You're gonna do a commercial for I was my drink that, <laughs> we had, like, so I love that would be more that. like this we talked about how I love juice yeah. earlier yeah like. we had Rob do one last week so yeah. why not so everyone can start doing commercials for this <laughs> start doing like a start adding in commercials on your podcast and yeah we'll just yeah we used like, to I, oh, yeah, when come we did on the, down to <laughs> we did the Spanish from the uh, the video podcast last mm-hmm. year we and I always had a couple. Lily and Lily Alex. and then Alex was the sponsor yeah. for a while and uh-huh. and Luis mm-hmm. and so we would do commercial breaks okay yeah see but it was video so I try to make it more like a talk mm-hmm. show where we'd be in like 20 minutes and I usually be like all right we'll take a break and we would act uh-huh. legit take a break and then like come back <laughs> That's cool. so now you've had two different spots <laughs> this is your third spot <laughs> well this has been the spot all along just like I'm like usually for bigger events and stuff. <laughs> yeah that's why that's why i don't want to like we're gonna have move to right sign in. we're gonna have to sign something the first place we got kicked out of for being loud because we were getting too loud yeah and it was uh, it was the this day after like hours. the day he finally decided it was bonbon bon, mm-hmm. it was there yeah well, i was so, there i was there with oh yeah it was yeah. and so it was like it was what four ladies and a gay guy mm-hmm so it got really, five. really loud. Five was yeah. It was right? you and the three. That is a lot. Was it three? You and the three. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, the mm-hmm. tacos. Yeah. Tacos uh-huh. los tóxicos. The tacos to- the tóxico. Yeah. Uh, so four ladies, a gay guy, and then me. <laughs> that, just to clarify, I wasn't the gay guy. <laughs> <laughs> but it got really loud, and that's when that night he was like, "Well, he's like, uh, you're getting a little too loud," and they're like, "We have customers," and I was like, "Well, you never, you know." trust me with a key 
and so then maria <laughs> trusted me with a key and so and me i mean and we were there uh, there all sorts of time of the night and she was fine with it but the ouija mm-hmm. board is just a really that did one. it and that yeah, did no, it no more <laughs> ouija <laughs> boards <laughs> <laughs> the thing is too though like the the way where i'm just doing audio now and like this is so like mobile mm-hmm. like i'm not too worried about it anymore mm-hmm. it sucked the first time because we were doing the video one and we were so used to just always having the background up and stuff mm-hmm. we just show up and do it yeah like i was like god damn it, what are we gonna do now mm-hmm. but you know, we'll just keep on trucking yeah. as they say and so we'll start uh wrapping this up actually and uh well we have a guest first time guest we always ask the same question uh if you were to if you were to die today who would your pallbearers be tomorrow probably my two best friends who i consider my brothers they both have the same first name chris <laughs> the chrises the chrises i'll probably have the chrises um, my buddy Brayden, my sister Maddie, and my other sister Lauren. Oh, she does have a name. <laughs> oh, well, that's oh, even a different, a different one. one? That, that's oh. a different story. <laughs> this is getting more into the family <laughs> spider web of complication. Yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's his sister, but not my sister. Oh, okay. And then we have a shared sister, and then... It's, a, it's his sister that's not my sister also has a sister that's not his sister. It's a lot. <laughs> that's it. Don't worry about it. Um, probably just my parents, and that'd be it. Yeah. Good. Good enough yeah. answer. Wait, did you, did I ever ask you that question? Yeah, I said if my kids were old oh, enough, yeah. <laughs> my kids, <laughs> yeah. and maybe my brothers. Yeah. Yeah, it's a weird question. It is a but it question, hurts. but it, ma- it like it makes people think. Yeah, yeah. It, it makes people think, and then it makes you also realize like what kind of person you are too. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Do you want to get buried though, or do you want to get cremated? Or anything? I mean, I'd be dead, so I wouldn't really, you wouldn't really care. care. <laughs> <laughs> you could stick me in the ground or a pot. Yeah, just throw you in the river. Yeah, we can yeah. throw you in the river. Yeah. I just saw a TikTok, like, literally right before I got here, there was um, this guy on a horse, and he was, like, pouring it on the field. And there was, like, the person that died, their horse was just, as soon as they all got spilled, started, like, just dancing around and just jumping and, like, oh, enjoying. Oh, yeah. out the ashes? Yeah. Was, oh. Did you see it? Uh-uh. Yeah, it was really cool. It had, like, 300,000 likes on it. It was crazy. And he was doing it, like, on a, like, on a field? Yeah. Yeah. Like where stuff grows? Yeah. Oh, wow. So it's going to r- grow really good. Maybe. <laughs> so <that's> good. <laughs> but that, like, it was, I don't know, it was really, like, emotional, you know? Like, you could tell that horse. Because horse like, could, yeah. like, feel the yeah. person. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. You can always talk cool. to him with a Ouija board, the horse. <laughs> 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 yeah, sure. oh, yeah. So, anywho, I think we're out of here. Mm-hmm. Uh, if the, unless there's something else you guys want to talk about or say before we leave. You guys yeah. are all good? You good, Maddie? Yeah. I think you should give everyone a goodbye. A good goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> 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 all right, so we'll catch you all next time. Uh, we'll see where we're at next time. Maybe here. Maybe. Who knows? So uh, just stay tuned for that. If you guys are okay with Ouija boards and fucking bitches at your establishments and you want to give us a free room, go ahead and contact me and let us know. <laughs> Not a, I was Maria. <laughs> <laughs>